Hey guys, welcome back. Headless Joe here today. And the reason I'm headless is I'm zooming in here on this Gearit GST200 SoCal Southern California Series guitar. And this is my final review of this guitar, final assessment for you. Now that I've had a chance to play it quite a bit. Um... I really can't give it a recommend. And the real main reason is, again, when I do these reviews or assessments of these guitars, it's aimed at newbies, right? People that are just picking up playing guitar. Uh, whether it's a student, whether it's a child that you're buying an instrument for, whether it's somebody taking up guitar later in life, whether it's a gift for someone. Uh, again, it's not designed to be given to a professional level, level um, or even a, a really, really competent guitar player. So these are for starters, right? Beginners, neophytes, whatever you want to call them. With that in mind, one of the most important things when you're giving an instrument to someone uh, from a playability standpoint is having tuners on the guitar that, although might may not be the best, but at least are workable and, and whole tune, right? These things do not fall into that category. These are absolutely amongst the worst tuners, stock tuners that I've ever gotten on uh, a guitar that I've decided to, you know, potentially keep, right? Or was, was thinking about keeping. I'm still on the fence with this because a lot of other things about this instrument are decent, but these tuners are abysmal. There's no other way to describe them. They are horrible. Um, they... Do not hold tune whatsoever. Now, I tuned this thing up prior to making this video. It's already out of tune. I'm going to play this acoustically so you can hear the guitar, but... Anytime you bend... Moderately. It's already out of tune. Um, they're just, yeah, you can hear it. I mean, it's just horrible. Unplayable as a result of these tuners being that bad. Um, so that's one thing. The other reason I can't recommend this guitar, and again, because of this, right, a lot of you might be on the fence or thinking about returning the guitar because you're going to have an, a, a really tough time keeping this guitar in tune, especially if you're learning, it's very frustrating, is good luck um, getting through the manufacturer to try to resolve it. Now, I was just asking them basic questions about this guitar. And again, there's no chat. There's no phone number. The only way you can get to them is through email. And it takes these people, because I'm not sure where they're located, if they're out of country or whatever, but it takes them days to respond initially. It took them two days to even acknowledge my email. And then they asked for pictures, and then they asked for audio, and I was explaining to them that it was something, you know, the guitar was having tuning stability issues, and blah, 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 blah. Are there any recommendations? Uh, nothing. And no even offer to, you know, uh, provide a refund. Nothing. And finally, I said, I'm considering returning this guitar through Amazon. I'd rather keep it and work something out. Nothing. So <laughs> dealing with them is next to impossible because there's really no support coming from Gearit or Gear IT or whatever the hell they're called. Um, so that's an issue if you are a newbie and you're having a problem with this guitar and you want to contact the manufacturer to ask questions, whatever, you can't, you can't communicate with them. Now the flip side to that is because it's purchased through Amazon, you'll have no issue whatsoever returning the guitar, if that's what you want to do. Um, so that's that's a positive, right? That it's honored by Amazon's return policy, which is, you know, very good. But, so the two negatives are, tune is a horrible, probably amongst the worst that I've experienced, and support is non-existent. Other than that, 
it's a it's a certainly a nicely built guitar in that again i have no way of validating if this in fact is really ash from a standpoint of you know opening this thing up and and checking out the wood i i don't know it could be basswood it could be something else but i can tell you right now it's not poplar it's not polonia it's not um uh those you know those types of woods because they're considerably lighter it's not even basswood um it's some type of wood that has some weight to it now is it ash i don't know i really can't 100 percent say if it is it's pretty good that they build this price point of an instrument with an ash body i mean that would be unheard of um the neck is very comfortable i love the fact that it's a thinner c neck very comfortable nice to play for those of you that like a gloss finish on the back of the neck i know there's mixed feelings to that you may like this because similar to like a classic vibe you're getting that you know vintage maple look with a gloss on the back of the neck and headstock some of you like a matte finish you may not like this um but that could be a plus or a minus um the stock pickups actually are not too bad now again on the other um gear it that i had which was the p90 based les paul that kind of just disappeared from being sold on amazon after a couple of days after they blew them out those pickups were horrible those p90s in my opinion they were not good these are definitely okay and again they're sur i'm sure they're ceramic pickups i i doubt very much they're al nico but they have a very vintage sound to them so if you're looking for you know not super high output decent quality you know sounding like a strat that getting strat sounds these pickups are fine for that you may want to even keep them um they're not i i wouldn't say you have to you know change out the pickups day one but you definitely want to get this thing probably intonated because i don't think it came intonated perfectly out of the box these strings are horrible but again that's fine i mean for any kind of low budget guitar you're going to change the strings so immediately if you're serious about keeping this and playing it you'd probably want to get rid of these tuners and put something else in that are a little bit more stable and change the strings other than that i think the controls are fine i think the pickups are fine um the fact that you can coil split them is another pro for having this guitar and um you know the fret ends are ball fret ends so there's no sharp frets on this thing the string height you know shipped was fine it's not like you know high off the fretboard where you can't play it um yeah i mean other you know the nut is cheap it's a cheap plastic nut but other than that you know hey look it's 98 dollars on amazon and then if you get 10 percent off it brings it down to 88 dollars and it ships with a gig bag and accessories now granted the accessories that it comes with are crap you're getting a cheap strap you're getting a tuner electronic tuner that's useless basically <laughs> um you're getting strings that are very very you know low-end guitar strings you probably wouldn't even want to change these out and put them on um you're getting picks those are useful and you're getting a cable which is useful uh the gig bag i showed you before it's okay it'll keep the guitar protected it's not going to be something that has a ton of padding that's going to protect it if you drop it or smash it into something but again it's it's acceptable right um so yeah the gig bag the fact that you're getting picks and the fact that you're getting a, a usable cable are nice extras um other than that that's all i can really say about the gear it uh i really can't give it a you know an average joe recommendation only because of the fact that you know again assuming you know you're not going to change the tuners you're starting out you want a playable instrument these are going to frustrate the hell out of you because the guitar just will not stay in tune and the fact that you can't get through to the company quickly if you do have an issue or questions that's also frustrating um if you buy it with the thought in mind that you know you can return it because it's, it's through amazon um and you don't mind returning it then take a chance for the price um i personally don't want to go through the aggravation of returning it i'd rather keep the guitar work something out with the manufacturer you can certainly do that with mono price you can certainly do it with eart eart whatever you can certainly do it with firefly 
Um, you can certainly do it with Grote. Um, but these guys, for whatever reason, uh, it's just next to impossible to get through to them. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it on the Garrett GST 200. If you have any questions, put them below in the comments. If you like these videos, please subscribe. As always, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.